Whereas the modern office life has greatly improved, where people can get information at a click, it has also come with its own distraction in the form of sites that are not related to the work someone is doing. The problem of time wasting on social media and other sites like YouTube is not new and is what many organizations have been grappling with for years. You can spend the whole day reading new things on Facebook and it's all nonsense. Uh, and, and possibly, I should say, if you are in a paid employment, 99% of what comes on your Facebook is, has nothing to do with your job. Depending on the nature of one's job, it may not necessarily be wrong to look onto these sites. The issue is with the timing and to what extent they boost your productivity and knowledge. It's like somebody picking a phone to send a text message when he's driving. Globally, studies have shown that the internet takes nearly half of our time at work and the effect will become more imminent when you visit irrelevant websites. On your computer, what applications or email are seen as productive? YouTube, Twitter and Facebook as unproductive and Google is stuck neutral depending on what you search for. We, we, we need to get our IT managers extract this data because they are they're in a position where they're able to see how much time an employee is spending on a given site. But the emergence of smartphones complicates such measures. Unless they're going to add, like I said already, in their contracts, uh, uh, something that says do not touch your phone during work hours. Otherwise, as long as I have my smartphone and I feel like I need to check on what's, what's on social media, it's, it's just a touch away. This then is why a balance has to be struck between the employer and the employee. The organizations need to evaluate themselves but also identify at what point they want social media to play a role and what that role is going to be. So organizations need to, 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 to sensitize their staff, to agree with their staff on outputs, you know, the, 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 including the time, timelines for these outputs. In the end, whatever controls are in place, it all boils down to the targets an employee seeks to achieve at work. Moses Akena, NTV.